friends, this week we are going to be focusing on silent letters. So that means that the words we're going to be focusing on have letters in them that do not make a sound of their own. So we know that we have some silent letters that go with a letter that does make a sound. Like WR will make the sound ER. So the W is silent and the R makes a sound. And we have KN, which will make the N mm sound. So the N makes a sound and the K is silent. GN also makes the N mm sound. So we have a silent G and we hear our M. MB makes a M mm sound. So we hear the M and we do not hear the B. SC makes the S sound. So we hear the S and we don't hear the C. As we sort these words, we're going to be thinking about which spelling word matches a pattern. So we have five different areas. Under WR, we're going to write our two WR words that we see up here. Under KN, we'll write our KN words. GN, we have GN words, MB, and SC. So your word choices are comb, from, seen, sent, Nat, sign, knife, no, wrist, and writing. So we're going to sort those words down below. Over here we have rhyming. It says write the spelling word that rhymes with each word below. So number 11, fist. I'm going to look up at my spelling words and I'm going to think which word has the same ending sound as Fist. And if I look, the answer is wrist. I see IST here and I know it makes the same sound. Wrist, fist. So I will write wrist on the line. Number 12 is bent. So I'm going to think which word up here has the same ending sound as bent? And I see that this one, sent, has ENT at the end also, bent, sent. So I will write that one on the line. For number 13, you need to find a rhyming word that rhymes with bat. Number 14, you need to find a rhyming word that rhymes with life. And number 15, you need to find a rhyming word that rhymes with thumb. On the back side, you're going to be working with these same spelling words again. And you're going to be doing on the top a crossword puzzle. So you look at a definition and you write the word that goes with that definition. As you look, these two clues, the words will go across. So for numbers one and two, you'll write those words right here. Number one will go here, number two will go here. Numbers three and four go down. So three will be written down and four will be written down. So think, number one says an episode or part of a play. So we'll do number one together. If I know that definition is a scene, I'm going to cross out scene and write it in here. If you've ever heard that, a scene of a movie. Number two, your clue is a smell. So what word up here has the definition of a smell? You'll write that word across in box two. Then you have your down words. Number three is a small fly. Which word means a small fly? The answer is, we'll do this one together, a gnat. So notice how when I write this down, the N is already here for me. That's how I know I'm correct, because it matches up. Let's pretend I tried to use the word sign, and I thought sign was correct. If I try to write sign in these boxes, I'm going to write S. And then I'm going to be in a bad position when I see that the N is already there. I need an I there, but the N is there. So if I run into a situation like that, I know I've done something incorrect. But if it matches up like it does here, I know I'm right. So when you are done with the word, cross it out. You're going to use each word one time on this page. So the four words you use on your crossword, you will not use them again below. You will use new words. Number five, Lola is blank, a letter to grandma. 
if I look up at my spelling words, I know the word writing fits there. Lola is writing a letter to grandma. So I'm going to cross that off because like we said, each word will only be used one time on this page. Number six says, we blank how to make a pizza. So what word, what spelling word up top would fit there? Number seven says, Yasmin wears a bracelet on her blank. Number eight, we made a blank to cheer on our team. Number nine, I fed the, the mouse a little blank of cheese. Number 10, mom uses a blank to slice bread. So remember, you are using each word one time. So if you get stuck, skip that sentence because then you'll have a chance to cross out some more words and narrow down your choices of the right answer for the one you are stuck on. So make sure if you're stuck, don't just sit there. Make sure you skip it and try a different one because that might help you solve the one that you're confused about. When you're done, you're going to turn it in and move on.